this question gives us a polymer chain, just a section of the polymer chain, and they want us to find the correct monomer of this polymer chain. So I want to label all the carbon in the backbone. Okay, so this is the backbone of the polymer chain. Consists of six carbon atoms in the backbone. I'm going to number the carbon. Now, one, two, three, four, five, six. Now, this is an addition polymer. Addition polymerization uses alkene as the monomer. So, every alkene contains double bond. So the double bond is between two carbon atoms. So when they join and form an addition polymer, the pi bond is broken. Okay, and they form a polymer with this carbon you initially sharing the double bond to form the backbone. So every two carbon, every two carbon, they came from the same monomer molecule. So same goes to this polymer given here. So every two carbon, I'm going to draw a dotted line to separate them. Okay. So. Carbon 1 and 2 from the same monomer, carbon 3 and 4 from the same monomer, carbon 5 and 6 from the same monomer. So this section has three repeating units. So I'm going to take out one repeating unit from carbon 1 until 2 only. So let's just draw carbon 1 and 2 here. This is 1, this is 2. Right. So carbon 1 is also bonded to a CH3. Okay, CH3. And there's another one hydrogen that is not shown here. Right, so let's draw the hydrogen. Carbon 2 is bonded to an ethyl group. And another alkyl group that looks like this CH3. CH3, of course, there's another H that is not shown because uh, they're using skeletal formula. Right, so this will be the repeat unit. So to get monomer, you know that you have to give back the pi bond to the two carbon. Right, so I'm going to erase this one. The square bracket, the longer bonds on the two ends, and also this small end to represent the number. And let's give the pi bond back to the two carbon. So this would be our monomer of this section of polymer. Now let's look at A, B, C, and D and see which molecule has identical structure to the monomer that we find that would be our answer. So there's one carbon, two carbon, right? Two carbon is a double bond. So this C and this C. Now one of them must be bonded to a CH3 and one H. So this is bonded to a CH3 and another H that is not shown because this is a skeletal formula again. And another carbon bonded to ethyl group. And another alkyl group that looks like this with another H. This is exactly the same as the monomer that we have found. The answer is A. And let's just go through and check B, C, and D also. B, we have the two carbon. One of them should be just bonded to a CH3 and a H. No, okay, this is a CH3. But this is not a H, so B cannot be the answer. Let's look at C. Okay, we don't have any carbon that's just bonded to a CH3 and H, so C is not the answer. Now, compound D, we have two carbon. This is bonded to CH3, but this is not a H. There is no CH3 here, so D is also not the answer. So the answer to this question is A.